All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by factoring out four to the power of x from my left-hand side. So I get four to the power of x times one plus one is equal to 16. Now from here, one plus one is two. So I get four to the power of x times two is equal to 16. And if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out and I get four to the power of x is equal to eight. Now from here, we have a more simplified equation. So to solve this, I'm gonna make these two bases the same. So four is the same thing as two squared and eight is the same thing as two to the power of three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2x. So I get 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And because these two have the same bases, these exponents are equal to each other. So 2x is equal to 3, and x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is... All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of three. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the w of something in the form a times e to the power of a, then this is equal to a. So this is the w Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the w Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form a times e to the power of a. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x, e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and I have this times ln x is equal to ln 3. So now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a. a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3, and this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides, so I get w of ln 3. And then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you.